level up. The screen drill. For the screen drill, you think it passed, we getting off. You want to try and affect the quarterback. Once he get rid of it, you want to break down and work to the guy he's throwing the screen to, trying to make the play. Go get him, go get him, go get him. There you go. The screen drill focuses on change of direction for defenders to quickly get back into the action. Y'all break down, y'all turn, and then just break down there. Control your body, stop in front of him. On the screen, you got to swarm. Everybody got to swarm to the ball. <laughs> go get him. I like it, I like it. Y'all can hit him too now. <laughs> level up pro tip. To level up, we gonna work to the quarterback, put your hand up, and redirect and get the quarterback, and we break him down. Hey, and hey, hey. good job. Go get him. Hand up. Ah, there you go. Make sure you make that tackle. The pocket drill. The pocket drill, similar to the lava drill, being in a good position to throw, but it's more just small movements. This is your faux pocket right here. You're gonna stay within the pocket, and I'll be right here as if I'm up, avoiding the tennis ball, staying right there, and then throw. We'll do the same thing. The pocket drill helps quarterbacks stay slippery in the pocket while keeping their eyes on the receiver. Good job. That was a great round, too, because the whole time while she was moving, she kept the ball in a good throwing position. There we go, there we go. We all are being nice to each other with these tennis balls. <laughs> good job. Level up pro tip. While you're also avoiding the tennis balls, I'll be giving you a number to call out so you really can't focus on the tennis balls. Four. Boy. Good job. The pursuit drill. This is called pursuit. So anyone ever play defense? The goal is you want to use the sideline as an extra person on your team. Run this way and get here so she can't turn that way, OK? The pursuit drill teaches defenders to use the sideline as a defender. The main thing is to beat her over there. If you don't beat her there, you're gonna, she's going to get the sideline on you. Go, turn it back in, back in. Oh, she got the sideline. Come on. Go. Eyes on the flag, eyes on the flag. Oh, close. Level up, pro tip. The pursuit drill is uh, very important. Being the offensive player to the spot, that way knowing where your help is, knowing where the leverage and using the sideline as an extra person. Go. There you go, make her go in. Yeah, good job. <laughs> red light, green light. All right, so the red light, green light drill. All I'm looking for here is hips to sink, arms stay moving, clear change of speed when you're stopping, and a clear burst when you're coming out of that thing. Red light, green light teaches a receiver proper change of speed to take route running to the next level. I'm running, clap, sit, boom, burst. See here, next clap, you're bursting out again. Nice job. Level up pro tip. The level up tip on this drill is really about moving your arms. A lot of guys want to stop their arms when they're slowing down, really keeping the arms active, moving through the brakes so that you're, they're ready to go when you're moving out of that next break. Arms moving the entire time, right? You sit, your arms are still soft. Arms are still moving, then you burst again. Boom, sit, arms, 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 arms. They're good. Boom, that's it. Changing direction. The changing direction drill, and that just gives you opportunity to break on the ball for the defender, you know, get to it, and uh, just uh, give you a better chance, you know, catch the ball and get up the field and score. The changing direction drill helps players with maintaining speed, balance, and explosion while route running. Arms pumping, come around tight, boom, catch the ball, tuck it, touchdown. Give me a spike, boom. This drill right here is basically emphasizing on uh, just route running, getting in and out of your breaks. Tight turn, tight turn, tight turn. Oh, you got good feet, good feet. Level up pro tip. One of the key things, you're dropping your waist so you're able to use all your strength in your legs. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Catch it, catch it, you get it, yeah. The gauntlet. The gauntlet drill is a great way for both runners and defenders when it comes to flag football to be able to work on your skills. The gauntlet drill is designed for offensive players to work on avoiding the flagpole and for defenders to practice breaking down and making the play. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Say go. There it is. There it is. I would say just try and stay on the line and shuffle to try and stay low and watch, watch the hips because that's where they're going to go. There it is. There it is. Good job. Yeah, it is. Level up pro tip. Within the gauntlet drill, a good way to level up your game, especially with flag football, is keeping your eyes on your hips. You'll be able to tell where the runner is going, and it'll be easier to pull the flags. For all the defenders that are going to try and get the flags off, follow their hips. Either way they go is probably the direction they're going to run. There it is. The zone drill. Zone defense, uh, you want to keep your eyes on the quarterback so you can always be able to play your zone efficiently. You're playing a space at this point. You're not guarding a specific man. So you have to make sure your territory is covered. Stay centered. 
So you better play both routes at the same time? Yeah, I told you. It's a good pick. The zone drill puts a defender in the middle of a set of cones to mimic zone coverage, not knowing which way the ball's going. Then it's time to make a play. Just keep your hips open so you be able to cut each and every way. We're going this way. We're going this way. Level up pro tip. Staying centered is the most important. When you stay middle, just don't pick a side yet. And then when he pick, then you go. Just because you're trying to play midpoint between two or more guys, stay middle, stay middle. And you can't pick which side because the quarterback's going to throw it to the opposite of which side. Yo, nothing. The ladder drill. This is the ladder drill. We're just going to do one foot in each hole. The ladder drill improves foot speed, coordination, and quickness for all positions. What I'm looking for with the footwork is not speed. It's to get the rhythm down and your eyes guiding your feet as you're doing the drills so you can enhance your eye movement as you're playing the game. This is about just helping you with your feet moving it faster and your eyes moving your feet. Good job, good job. We're leveling up the drill right now. Outside first, boom. This is just working on your feet. You come around, around the circle, around, and you run. The lava drill. So for the lava drill, it's important that you keep your eyes downfield. We're also working on just making sure you're in a good throwing position the whole time. I can say throw whenever, so just be ready for it. All right, let's do it. The lava drill teaches quarterbacks to stay active in the pocket while focusing on the receivers downfield. You have people rushing you. You want to be able to avoid it, but still keep your eyes downfield. One, there we go. Three, I like the feet. Four, throw. Good job. Oh, all right. Got a little competition going. Level up pro tip. The most important thing to focus on in this drill is even though I'm calling out numbers and trying to get you to move to a different spot, it's still to stay focused and locked in on your target. Level up the game right there. I like it. Running lanes. The first thing is, is trying to get the ball, make sure we secure the handoff. Think about it like elbowing the quarterback. Make sure you had the right arm up when you secure the ball. Squeeze down on the ball, make sure you got it, and then step on the defender's toe, try to win left or right. Second thing is, is keeping the ball close to your body so you don't fumble the ball. Ball security is job security. There we go. That's a good rep, that's a good rep. The third thing was to be able to try to make defender miss in space. You want to be able to kind of chop your feet, come to balance, and then make a sudden move like that. There you go. Level up, pro tip. You don't have to be too fast because the defender doesn't know where, you, where you're where you going to go. You know where you're going to go. You got all this room to win, so make them come to you, and then you do your move. Oh, good move. Good job, good job, good job. The man coverage drill. Yeah, so you in man coverage, you're keeping your eyes on the receiver. You're kind of keying his hips to see when he goes up and down for his breaks. Receiver, receiver. Y'all keep your eyes on the receiver. And then you get your eyes to the QB at the end when it's time to play the ball, so you're better to make a pass break up. Nothing! That's defense right there. It's defense. The man coverage drill teaches defensive backs in man-to-man -man coverage to key on the receiver, find the ball, and make a play. You gotta play with your eyes first, and then everything else follow. Eyes, feet, hands. Level up, pro tip. Before they start, you give yourself some space so you're able to move. When they get close to you, you turn and run with them. And then when they look back for the ball, that's when I look back for the ball. Yeah, look, pig, easy. Pedal break 90. So for the pedal break 90, most important thing is getting out of your brake and breaking 90, not rounding it, getting in front of the receiver. So we just backpedaling, shoulders over your knees, staying square, and we breaking. We look at 90, and we looking back for the ball. The pedal break 90 teaches defenders to get out of their brake quickly and make a play on the ball. Go, break. Ball, What's up? go, break, ball, break, ball, good job. Level up, pro tip. Just work on keeping your shoulders over your knees and the stand square coming out your break. Break, ball, good job. The two-step. Two-step race drill is really about, you know, breaking down the top of your route, having speed out of that thing, being able to race away from the DB, work on running to the sideline, catching the ball, knowing that the sideline's coming. The two-step drill teaches receivers the proper burst to come out of their routes and make a play. Anyone ever been chased by a dog? Dog just got let loose, you have to run as fast as you can. Here, boom, and you're up the field. So you get two steps as fast as you can. Nice, catch the ball and work on your foot in the ground and get up the field. Level up, pro tip. 
The big level up tip here is that speed coming out of the thing. You want to feel like you're being chased and then also being able to speed cut out of it or break down, keep your arms moving and square cut out of it. Nice job, good job, good route. Good job moving your arms, the arms never stop. As soon as the arms stop, the route's over. The sideline catch. Sideline drill and tracking the ball, having spatial awareness on the field and knowing where that DB is and reaching your hands out. Shoot your hands out when you're catching the ball so you see where the ball is coming into your hands. There you go, two feet in. The sideline catch helps receivers with spatial awareness and keeping their feet inbounds. All right, let's try to focus on tucking the ball now. Once you catch it, then tuck it so you have control of the ball going through. There you go, good catch. Level up pro tip. Just having good body control where as though you can tap your toe or drag your toe to make a complete pass. Either you want to kind of slide your feet or kick the back of your other foot and keep your feet in while you're catching the ball. Yeah, you see that? The snake drill. Well, the snake drill was important for the kids to, you know, work around the cone, close the distance, break their hips down to make their tackle so they can be able to work lateral to close the distance on the running back. You got the ball, you're coming around, the defensive player gonna be there, you gotta try to get to the end zone. When you're coming around, you wanna try to get square, bend your hips, bend your knees so you can move lateral. The snake drill is designed to help defenders fine tune their breakdown and footwork to make the play. You like this, you gotta break down, control your body so you can move. Good closing the distance, though. Level up pro tip. You come out of control, easy to get shook, but when you square and you break down, you're able to move lateral to the point you're in front of the guy, be able to make a play. You don't want to get out, be all out of whack. They spin, you miss. When you square, you're able to move lateral. You move this way, move this way, you run in front of them. The fade. The fade ball, kind of a classic drill. You just want to focus on dropping into the bucket, making sure that you give your receiver a chance when you're throwing it. On the fade, the quarterback looks to get air on the ball and drop it where only the receiver can catch it. But while you guys run downfield, you're just gonna try and put air under it to where you drop it in the bucket right here. And for the receivers, if you have a defender, you wanna keep them away from the ball, obviously, and you either catch it at a high point or you catch it right here while they're still behind you. Level up pro tip. A lot of people use the fade ball in the end zone, it's just about precision and being able to, to finish off a drive with a touchdown. You want to just put it in where only your receiver can get it. There we go. There we go. The comeback route. With the comeback route, the most important part of it is coming out clean and a direct angle back to the quarterback. When we get to the top of route, you want to break down, you want to plant and push. You don't want to pull out of it. You want to push out of it and come back to the quarterback. There you go. The comeback route is designed for the receiver to create separation from the defender. The reason why you want to come to the quarterback, um, tuck the DB behind you, see it all the way in with your eyes, tuck it. Good route, bro. Good route. Level up pro tip. If the quarterback throw you inside, just turn with it. If you throw it on your outside shoulder, turn outside with it. Inside, there you go. Good job. Outside, there you go. Good job. Ball tracking. This drill is uh, tracking the ball in the air. As a defender, we often have to track the ball in the air over the shoulder. So this one's just over the shoulder. Laser focus on the ball, eyes on the ball. There it is. Late hands and drop all the way in. Eyes on it. There it is. I love it. Level up pro tip. A good way to level up with this drill and tracking the ball over the shoulder, you can lie down, being able to increase the level of difficulty with keeping your eyes on the ball and watching the ball all the way into your hands. Keep your eyes on the ball, don't let it hit you in the face. This way, there you go, like that. Hands up, hands up, hands up, like this. Yeah, there you go. There it is. You're killing it. Handoff drill. First, we're gonna start off with learning how to take a handoff, all right? With the handoff drill, what I'm looking for is for the running back to make it like a pocket, and when you take it, tuck it. There y'all go. The handoff drill is a basic fundamental where proper form is mastered for running plays. Just as a running back, everyone's coming for you, so the ball security is really important. Clamping down on it, tucking it. Hi. Don't grab at the ball, okay? Let it come into your tummy. Clamp down on it hard, and then you tuck it, and don't let nobody take it away from you, okay? Level up pro tip. Having the ball up high and tight is really important because the defense is always trying to come for the ball. Yes, man. This is just teaching the importance of keeping the ball because the ball is the game. Hey, level up on three. One, two, three. Level up!